Hey everybody, Alex Miller at Capion here. I want to talk about some data privacy happenings you might have seen in the news. And I think it's interesting. I want to say this is both pretty important what I'm about to present and then also it's idiot fluff and totally meaningless. And that's really the point of this video. So what is the primary event? A couple of weeks ago, President Biden was in Europe, mainly for conversations with EU leaders about what's going on in Ukraine. And while they were talking, they came to an agreement in principle about a new data protection regime. So why is a new one needed? There's a kind of soap opera going back 25 years at this point of people in the European Union are more privacy conscious than consumers in the United States, and they have more laws about how much you can spy on people. And if you remember all the Edward Snowden stuff, maybe that has fallen out of the newspaper and public conscious a little bit. The government in the United States spies on us quite a bit in a way that is illegal in Europe. But then there's lots of European people on Facebook and Twitter, and there's a lot of inertia going around that. And those are big companies that have lobbyists. So there's this kind of weird paradox at this point where the U.S. and the European Union have some kind of agreement about when it's okay to move data on European nationals to the United States, and they keep getting struck down as illegal. So what's the sequence of spins around the merry-go-round so far? There was first safe harbor. People in Europe felt like maybe this is a sham and it's just kind of a diplomatic gloss over letting Facebook break the law. And they sued and won in court, and then they had another agreement called Privacy Shield. And I think when Privacy Shield came out, those same campaigners, uh, you know, it's the same thing again. It looks like the same thing if you get into details. And that was eventually struck down as well. There's a name attached to this if you want to Google around. Max Schrems was the privacy campaigner and the guy whose name actually went on the lawsuit. So for a while, we've actually been in limbo where there's no official legal rationale for when you can take the data of European nationals to servers in the United States legally. Companies like Facebook have maybe just been living in this paradox, like, are they probably breaking the law? It sounds like, yes, nobody's really doing anything about it. There has been some enforcement under GDPR. It's been slowly accelerating, and I expect it to still accelerate, but not really the kind of apocalyptic mega fines that people were concerned about at the beginning, and which would really get people's attention. And arguably what we're doing now is we're coming up with, uh, you know, maybe a third safe harbor privacy shield and whatever we call this one, a lot of people think it's going to be the same shit, different day. It's going to be basically the same agreement again. It's going to still be illegal and it's going to get overturned again. But I don't know. Nobody knows. And it's worth noting that we have an agreement in principle right now. And if you read the literature on these things, A, uh, people point out that none of the details that have caused problems in the, the past have been addressed. There's no official document. And so what does this all mean? And cynics like myself uh think that we're just going to spin the merry-go-round again and it'll be interesting i want to say that my axe that i grind here you know in the background you could future proof yourself against these problems with the privacy enhancing technology like homomorphic encryption which actually does a great job to solve this legal issue and that you can keep data encrypted while it's in the united states keep the keys in europe you're satisfied european law and you don't have to pay attention to all these Adequacy frameworks, as they're called, uh, and pay a lot of lawyers to tell you about all the gritty details of what a lot of people think is really a, a sham. But we'll see.